Hi, Angel Babes. Um, so my fiance has left early this morning and is going to be away for another two weeks over the road trucking. Uh, my mom's going to be coming uh, over later on this week to spend time with me. And I'm really excited about that. I like when she stays over. She's she helps me a lot. We help each other, honestly. We're both disabled, but differently disabled. Like, for her, she had um, a spinal injury. And she's paralyzed from, like, the waist down. Um, and for me, it's just, like, most of my nerves, nervous system damage is done by my own immune system. Whereas my mother, it was an incident and an injury that did her nerve damage. By the way, I made my... Um, like, I added some ribbons and lace and stuff to my headphones to make them even cuter. Um, I feel like they're giving hyper femme coquette, and that is exactly what I'm here for. Um, I'm wearing a green sweater at the moment because it is very, very cold, and so I've got a turtleneck on, too. And um, also because yesterday was St. Patty's Day, so I was like, okay, well, I didn't film yesterday because I was spending the day with my fiancé and handling things, you know other things that needed done in regards to the house and getting things prepared for my fiance going away again. Um, trucking is like that. They like truckers will have a couple of days off and then we'll be over the road for another couple of weeks, you know, cause they're usually driving all over the country. Like my fiance is, um, which, you know, it sucks and it gets lonely, but I understand. And you know, this summer I'm planning cause this job is really hard on my fiance. So like this summer, you know, when I get signed, I'm saying when, you know, just manifesting. Um, it's not me being cocky. It's just, I'm trying to bring, speak it into being, you know what I mean? Bring that positivity, um, affirmations, you know, um, thinking positive, but anyway, so when I get signed, I'm hoping that my fiance can slow down with the driving because it's been very hard on my fiance's body. Like my fiance was here for a couple of days. I recorded on Friday and uploaded on Friday talking about my fiance coming back home that day. Um, and now here we are, you know, just like it's Monday now. We had a date night on Friday. We went out to dinner. We went to my favorite Japanese restaurant. And of course I got the same thing I always do. And oh, it was delicious. It was just mm, so good. Um, and then after that, we went to see Dune um, in the movie theater. I've never seen any of the Dune movies before in my life. I did not expect that I would actually like it. I'm not usually a sci-fi type of person. However, I did enjoy the movie quite a bit. Oh, that's just my ribbon. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, like, I enjoyed the movie a lot. And then the next day, Saturday, was really fun, too. Like, we've had a very fun weekend. Saturday, we went to, we went to lunch at a small local business. Um, they're just like a little, you know, small, like diner type deal. Um, and they also have a bar and they have a very interesting history and they have a lot of, um, you know, like antique and historic, uh, items from around the local area. So it's full of a lot of local history, uh, just displayed as decor in there. And I love it. I love it so much. I love this place. Um, their foods are really interesting. They're, they sell sweet crepes of, of various varieties, but they also sell savory crepes and then lots of different sandwiches, salads. They have a lot of very... The place definitely feels like it's a hipster millennial vegan's wet dream. Even though it's, the place is not really vegan, it's actually more... Like, it has vegetarian options, pescatarian options, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, they had a really good chai latte. Best I've ever had in my entire life. It was so yummy. The only downside is, is it had, like, you know, actual sugar in it. So, like, that was my entire... I'm sorry. Ooh. 
I just got done coming back from the bank. And that was very tiring. I'm sorry. Um, here, let me just... My eyes always yaw water when I yawn. Um, I don't have any makeup on right now. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do a little video later experimenting more with makeup. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Um, if I'm really feeling up to putting stuff on my face today. But anyway, um... I don't know. I just, it was a really fun weekend. And then my fiance and I, after we went to lunch with our friends, um, this lovely couple that we know from Temple, um, after lunch, my fiance and I went to a few little antique stores and we got a couple of things. Each of these, this ring and this ring were both bought at an antique shop and they were each $5. Um, they're not real like gold or whatever um they're vintage that's for sure but they're not made of like you know precious metals so yeah but i don't know i really like them this one's a cameo she's really pretty i want to give her a name and then this one was giving very victorian ornate type of vibes but it was small and you know not overly big and gaudy so i was like okay i like this it's giving victorian but it's not you know over the top um and this ring this ring is not even um from the store um that one's actually my grams's ring that i'm wearing so yeah anyway um let's see i can't remember what else we did on saturday Oh, we went all the way up to where my brother lives, which is about an hour away. Like an hour. Um, <laughs> and, um, oh, by the way, I finally figured out, uh, parallel parking. Um, I always get frustrated. That's my biggest problem. I get in my own way by getting in my own head. But I did it calmly on Saturday and I pulled it off flawlessly. I finally did it, like, without freaking out like every time like i get frustrated i hit the wheel i swear um like i'll be like hitting the wheel with every syllable and swearing at the top of my lungs and you know as i'm trying to maneuver into the spot and then you know as i'm getting more worked up i'm making more mistakes but this time i stayed calm it took me only two tries i think that that's growth i've mellowed out a lot i feel like um i don't have a lot um as much anger as I had, like, just under the surface. I feel like having this YouTube channel has actually really helped me a lot with expressing my, like, feelings and thoughts and, like, boundaries and stuff, you know? And I feel like it's just been, had a very positive effect because, like I said, I'm staying a lot more calm than I normally would. Um, you know, like, under cer those types of stressful situations. I get frustrated at myself if I'm not immediately good at things. It's problematic, I know. Um, I need to be nicer to myself and more forgiving to myself um, when I can't. Sorry, I've been... I've got my ginger ale in the Bratz cup. So I'm burping a little bit because I've been drinking it before it's flat. And then, of course, I've got my watermelon Kool-Aid in my strawberry carton. And, you guys, it's the Coca-Cola Spiced. This one's the uh, zero sugar, because, like I said, sugar tends to make me feel very sick. It makes my acne worse and gives me migraines. Um, but it's really yummy. Um, so it's like... It's uh, zero calorie cola, raspberry spiced, and other natural flavors. 20 fluid ounces. Um, what? I wonder what other flavors it fe features. Oh, wow. I didn't realize there. Um, that's interesting. 
Coke Zero in includes not only aspartame, but also uh, sucralose. I knew sucralose was, su sucralose was in um, Coke Zeros. And most of the time, aspartame is in the diet versions of drinks, and uh, sucralose is usually in the zero sugar version of drinks. But I didn't realize that this has a combination of the two. That's very interesting to me. Um... What other flavors do we have? It doesn't actually tell us. Huh. Intriguing. But it's like a raspberry spice. Like, it's not like, it's not like spicy, like hot spicy. It's not like, you know, flaming hot cheetos or anything like that kind of spice it's a it's more like you know like the kinds of spices that you might associate with baked goods you know i feel like that's what i'm getting notes of anyway um but it's a really yummy soda so yeah. like i wanted to try this for a while and like um you know, it was taunting me in the stores, and I couldn't find the zero sugar. You can't find the zero sugar in West Virginia. Did you know that? Like, everywhere I've been in West Virginia, I've not been able to find the zero sugar version of this. Just the regular. Um, if, if even that. Um, but over in Ohio, I can find those things really easily. Like, I find these very easily over in Ohio. I don't know what it is, but it's yummy. Oh. Last night. I should do some cooking on my channel because I'm actually really good at it. So, my uh, cooking methods are a little unconventional. As in, uh, I kind of approach it the way... You guys have probably seen the iconic Pixar film um, Ratatouille. I love that movie. When I was a kid, that was a weirdly pleasant movie. And um, it's just always been a very comforting movie to me. Um, I actually really like Ratatouille, like the dish. Um, it's quite good. But I feel a lot like Remy, the rat. I sniff and I'm like, okay, yes, this will go in this well. No, that will not go in it well. You know, I, like I'll sniff it. And I'll smell what I'm working on and figure out what it's missing just based on smell. Um, so last night I was making, like I was helping my fiance make fried rice. Um, so every time we go to that Japanese restaurant, I get the sashimi dinner and um, the salmon sashimi specifically. Um, because I actually am quite particular. I Not all sashimi is safe sashimi. But the um, t tuna and salmon both are. Uh, but, you know, cause like other fish's texture gets to me. Um, but I really like tuna and salmon sashimi, but I always get this salmon sashimi dinner specifically because it is superb. Um, yeah, so like, it always comes with a bowl of rice and I don't, I don't eat the rice. Um, I don't like plain white rice. Um, I actually prefer, uh... Brown rice and wild rice mixed. That's my favorite kind of rice. Um, I don't like white rice at all. I Unless it's in sushi, like in the form of a sushi roll. Or is in the form of onigiri. Or is in other similar such things. But I cannot do a plain bowl of rice. So my fiance, we always take it out. Like take, take it in a to-go box. That bowl of rice. And... My fiance will then turn it into fried rice at home so that it's not going to waste. Um, so, yeah, we were making the fried rice and we put onions in it um, that were sauteed. Um, ginger, pickled ginger was added, soy sauce, and butter. Um, and I'm standing over it watching it while my fiance goes to the bathroom and I'm smelling it. And I'm like, okay. We're onto something here. This is actually smelling really nice. And I'm sitting there like, okay, 
here are the things we need to add. <laughs> so when my fiance came back to the kitchen and I was like, hey, you don't have to listen to me or anything, but I have some recommendations, some suggestions to make because this smells really good, but I have some ideas of what could enhance it. So what I ultimately added was, um, I added some nutmeg. Um, I also added some, a little bit of brown sugar, just one, one, one teaspoon. Um, not too much cause you'll, you'll throw the balance off. Um, and then two, only two dashes of, um, Frank's red hot sauce. I'm really particular about the texture of my hot sauces, so I prefer Frank's um, red hot sauce because the texture is preferable to me. Um, but yeah, so like, and when it was done, you know, oh, right, and then we added the rice in, and then we added in two eggs. My fiance wanted to add in three, and I was like, no, three will throw the balance. I was like, two. And I was right. The It turned out so perfect. I got to, I even tasted a bite of it because I was like, okay, there's no meat in this, so I can eat it. Um, this is not plain white rice anymore. It's now a dish. So I took a bite and I was like, okay, yeah, that is pretty good. Um, and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking and I'm brainstorming and I'm like, okay, I know exactly what will pair perfectly with this. And I'm sitting there coming up with, in my head, another recipe for a side dish. Well, actually, the main dish, that the fried rice I would actually treat as the side dish. Um roasted in my opinion i would choose roasted turkey i don't like overly greasy birds my fiance wants roasted duck so i would probably roast turkey for myself and duck for for my fiance um and have them i would make my own sauce like a glazed sauce like i would make it using Plum and soy sauce, I feel like. And maybe honey. Make it almost a glaze for the roasted uh, bird. And there's something else I'm forgetting. I should have written this down last night. Because for the one, I wanted it to be sweet with an edge of spice. And for the other, uh, sweet but also savory. Um, with a different flavor profile, but capable of complementing each other. That's, that's like the type of goal. It's like they contrast with each other, but they complement each other at the same time. Um, oh, I don't know exactly how I'd make it. I would have to like follow my nose so i don't know so those are just ideas that i was toying with last night like the second thing the roasted bird with the plum sauce that's more of a like theoretical thing you know i'm just theorizing coming up with creative ideas in my head trying to put flavors together in my head and seeing if they'll work together um i'm really good at that actually um so when i was younger uh there was a lot of food insecurity growing up and, um, my dad not being very self-aware about his eating disorder, um, kind of also pushed that on us at the same time as, you know, food being scarce and that kind of like, you know, messed me up a little bit. So when I was a kid, I spent a lot of time like laying on the floor, staring at the ceiling and fantasizing about food for hours on end. And like, it's stupid because like most of the fantasy actually have not you know like measured up in real life like when I went to actually try those foods they like actually were horribly disappointing and I was like oh like um I don't like shrimp I don't like bacon um I don't like beef I I like chicken but not a whole lot um it's a little greasy for me, and it makes me feel nauseous. Heavy, greasy foods make me feel nauseous. I didn't grow up eating that kind of stuff, so it's really hard on me when I do eat it, so I try not to eat it very often. Um, 
But usually the fantasy, I could vividly imagine the texture, the flavor, the smell, all of that, how it might feel going down and how it might feel to fill me up, you know? Um, and it was really like, you know, a bunch of stupid stuff, you know? I'd fantasize about a lot of high sugar crap and, you know, a lot of stuff, that stuff I try to avoid now because it's not good for you. It doesn't even taste good. I'm just addicted to sugar. Like, I don't even like the taste or texture of that crap. I'm just addicted to the sugar in it. So it's really frustrating. As a matter of fact, uh, that reminds me. My friend um, that we went to lunch with on Saturday, I um, we talked about uh, disordered eating habits and stuff and like that. Um, because my friend has a bit of an overeating and binge eating disorder. Um, and so does my fiance and I've dealt with a lot of that as well. Um, and my friend was like, yeah, there's an overeaters anonymous, uh, you know, like here in the area. And I'm like, I might actually like to, um, attend those because I know that I have a tendency to overindulge and I feel like maybe something like that might help me to resist it better because it, um, I'm here alone at the house a lot and it's very very hard to stay on track when I'm here alone and so while my fiance is away driving I sometimes will eat out of boredom and it'll be over overly too much I'm talking like three four five thousand calories in a day and you know I just it's just not good it makes me feel horribly sick for the rest of the week when I do that. I need to stop doing that. So um, I'm thinking that I'm going to go to those meetings. Those are once a week on Saturday. So I'm thinking I'm going to go to those meetings and kind of try to work on that. Um, but yeah, I have also been considering moving in the next couple of months. Just across the river into Ohio again. Um, I hate West Virginia. Like, don't get me wrong. It's beautiful. I love it and I love the people. However, the resources here are, quite frankly, crap. The resources here are awful. By the way, um, the whole, like... Me fantasizing about things growing up. That's kind of why I've gotten so good at knowing what will work to get good together. I'm very good at vividly imagining food. And when I'm in control of the food, I'm capable of making it taste how I want it to. And um, so I'm very good at making my fantasy a reality. It's just when it comes to other foods that like I fantasized about growing up, they never actually measured up like once I finally had them. Like for instance, my dad loves um, frosted mini wheats, the cereal. I can't stand it. I just don't get it. It's like really mushy. Like it's overly sweet mush. I just, I don't know. The texture puts me off. And then when it's not mush, it's too dry and tears up your mouth and you just can't win. And um, the flavor is a little bit bland anyway. So like, I don't know. It's just really funny to me. Like, I don't know. It's just, I always imagined it tasting so good. And then when I finally tried it, it was just not what I wanted it to be. And my dad ate that stuff obsessively. So I imagined it has to be great. My dad lives on it. No. As a matter of fact, my dad has quite rubbish taste, in my opinion. Um, oh, uh, oh, I want to show you guys something. This is my journal. Um, not my, like, like, I have two journals. This one is for tracking my food. Uh, I'm very big on San Ryu, specifically. I love, uh, Porten. He is... My baby, he's a little baby. As a matter of fact, let me show you some of my Squishmallows. He's a little ice cream. <laughs> uh, I love pudding. And I also have uh, Kodapi. Um, hello, kitty. 
and cinnamon roll. I also have this like Valentine's themed Jack Skellington. Look at the little hearts. It's like a little patchy and stitchy, like um, like his girlfriend. Um, and then I also have this plushie. It's not a Squishmallow, but it's Hello Kitty dressed as Kurabi. Um, let's see. And then I also have this plushie that is also not Squishmallow, but it's still cute. It is Puddin, dressed as like a bear lion thingy. <laughs> I don't know. It's got like bear ears, but it's got like lion type stripes and like, well, I don't know what it's supposed to be. Like a striped bear, maybe? I don't know, but he's a little cutie. I freaking love Puddin. Um, my fiance got me this frog. This Japanese plush frog uh, while traveling on the roads. Put it in this shop in, like, PA, um, which is really awesome. And then this Squishmallow is a little sushi roll, and I have named her Nori. Uh, don't mind me, I can't reach everything. I have, like, a mountain a huge, massive mountain of just plushies, and they're kind of all kind of starting to avalanche a little bit from me digging around in them. And then, of course, I have this. It's supposed to be like a bubble tea. Uh, and it's pudding. I love Sanrio so much. Like, see, there's the tag. Um, yeah. So th those are my um, Sanrio things. I also really love frogs. So I have, like, a lot of the frogs... Squishmallows. This one's actually probably a toad. But frogs and toads are basically the same in my book. And this one's pink. I mean, purple. It has a crown. It has little heart blushies. This one was for Valentine's Day. I actually have two of that one. Because we couldn't remember if we got it. So we got it again. And then we were, when we got home and added that one to the collection, it was like, oh, okay. So we did already have it. And then it was like, okay, well, now we get both get to have one. Um. Oh, actually, I want to show you guys one final thing. One final Squishmallow. This is a watermelon. And I have named him... Post Malone. The Watermelone. <laughs> you know, because of that vine. And it rhymes, so I was like, okay, okay, this is what his name is going to be. But anyway, the reason I got my journal out... I wanted to show you guys... The receipt from when we went to lunch. Hold on. I don't know if it's letting it focus. But it says... what I For what I ordered, it, it says gremlin-sized grilled cheese. It's a grilled cheese off of the children's menu. Isn't that funny? I love it. It was so good. I prefer to call grilled cheese cheese toasties, though. Um, British people are not right about a lot of things, but they're right about tea, somewhat. Because um, they're not the only people right about tea. There are a lot of people right about tea. A lot of cultures have tea, and all of them are right. Uh, <laughs> um, and... Uh, they're right about how they refer to grilled cheese as cheese toasty. I don't know. Cheese toasty is a really cute name for it. Like, it's like, oh, yes, I'll have a cheese toasty, please. Or like, I don't know. I really, I just, I really love cheese toasties. And I think that that's a really cute name for them. So, yeah. They're, they're pretty much my go-to safe food anytime I'm at an unfamiliar restaurant. Um, it is almost always guaranteed to be safe, and it was. It was really good. It was very standard. It was just two slices of white bread and a slice of American cheese, standard. So, nice, simple, and you know exactly what it's going to taste like, and it did not let me down. Oh my gosh, and, and, they served it to me, like, sliced up, like, um, vertical, like, into, like, strips, almost as if they were, like... To be dipped in something. 
oh, maybe that was because they were expecting me to dip it into, like, tomato soup, except I didn't order any tomato soup. Um, that would have been way too much. Um, especially since I'm very particular about my tomato soup. Not everyone makes it the same, and I don't like every restaurant's tomato soup. Wow, I've really been talking about this food for a long time. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. But yeah, I'd like to make a cooking video or two on YouTube here eventually because, like, I don't know, like, I feel like I have some very interesting ideas in the kitchen and, like, I could really make, like, I could make some very interesting foods. Um, I, t you know that saying where you, like, the closest way to someone's heart is through their stomach? Um, I pretty much kind of uh, live by that. Like, I love to make really nice food to share with my friends and family and loved ones. Because it just makes me feel good. Um, I don't, I just really like making other people feel good, honestly. Because, like, I real like every time I'm out in the world, I just... I love so much to, like, see people. And to be like, oh, wow. I'm gonna go compliment them. Sorry. <laughs> that Coca-Cola. Um, I can't drink the Coca-Cola flat. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's just wrong. Um, I can do ginger ale flat, though. In fact, I prefer it flat. So I'm drinking the Coke while I wait for the ginger ale to go flat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's silly. But yeah, I just... I don't know. I just like... I really like complimenting people and like making their day. I just... I love seeing how much they light up. It makes me feel so good. Like, I'll like walk up to someone and be like oh wow I really love your like purse um and you know if they say thanks and tell me where they got it I'll be like oh wow I really need to keep that in mind and get one um I've done that actually a lot um like I'll compliment someone on like their fashion or an accessory and then I'll like talk to them a little bit about it and talk about how fabulous I think it is and how fabulous it looks on them you know, stuff like that. I just, it makes me feel good to lift people up. And I genuinely mean it too, though. I'm not going to lie to anyone either. I'm not fake. So, like, if I'm saying that, I genuinely mean it. I'm always going to find, like, things to find lovely about everyone. That's what I do. I find something beautiful in everyone. And I think that's a really important thing to do in life. Like, because everyone is beautiful. And you just, you got to train yourself to see the beauty and find the beauty in everyone and everything, in my opinion. Um, like, the world has so much capacity to be something beautiful, I feel like. Like, it has so much capacity to be so nice and loving and peaceful and beautiful and everything like that. And I feel like humankind can also achieve that. We just got to work at it. And I feel hope that one day we do find a point where you know things are better you know like everyone is happier and nicer and everything like that i just maybe that's silly and naive and like because like i'm also a realist like i recognize that the world is like kind of an ugly place at times but i'd rather try to look for the good you know, rather than fixate on the bad and the scary. You'll go crazy fixating on the bad and scary. You have to find the good. Like, I don't know. It's just really important. Um, I've been questioning my gender a lot lately, too. Because, like, I've been, like... The more I've been developing my style and finding myself com more comfortable with myself, the more I've been, like, you know, just, like... Where do I stand with this? Because, like... I don't care what people call me, um, like, as far as pronouns go or gendering goes. I just don't care. Um, just don't call me late to dinner because that's very presumptuous and rude of you to assume that I would accept your invitation. My own silly twist on that little old phrase. Call me anything but late for dinner. You know that phrase? Yeah. Well, I added my own little twist because I'm a picky eater. But, um, 
yeah, I hope this video was enjoyable for you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you around. Take care. I love you all. Mwah, mwah.